happening on YouTube is more motivation reactions back from another reaction video. So we got a video here I'm going to react to. It is called The Difference Between Black and White Culture. It's supposed to be a really funny video. Hopefully I can learn something from it. I'm not sure I may learn something from this kind of video, but it's by the Hush Twins and uh, most of the videos are hilarious. So let's just check it out, see what we can learn from it and uh, take it from there. If you're here for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Expect reaction videos. We try our best to react and learn as much as possible, provide feedback and all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's get into it. I don't know if this is their real voice. Do they really talk like this? I'm, I'm just wondering. Just a question. Black people are in the position they are in America today for reasons. Black Americans, okay? Not blacks everywhere. All right, let's 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 be open-minded in America, sure, but everywhere else, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it is, but I think it's a it's a capacity thing. Capacity? What do you mean by that? Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. What other different kinds of people have this problem? Black people are the only people coming this country. Why are they struggling so much over other people come? They embrace um they embrace the wrong things like yeah just. Hmm. That's very true. I don't know. I I can only speak for melanated people outside the United States because I'm not in the United States, but. There's something he's saying here that's so factual. Embracing the wrong things. I can think of so many things off the top of my head. I'll say two, for example. Music and... Oh my god. Music and uh, what's something that I, that I don't want to say anything crazy on YouTube so that YouTube uh, doesn't demonetize me, but basically the rap music the messages is sending us with the killing the drugs the sex all that okay and also a mentality that you cannot do more than be an athlete those are two things i can think of okay i had to give myself a moment not to say anything crazy on youtube anyway let's keep going excuse me this form is a strong black community. They're not, yeah, they're not willing to acknowledge what's the real problems in our communities. And I think they say, until you acknowledge the problems, those problems will perpetuate, continue, to fester, and, and persist, and persist, and it's going to grow to, it's going to fester, it's going to... If you're not in the United States, and you're melanated like myself, can you speak on any experiences? Can you listen to them and agree or disagree and why? Please let me know in the comment section. Get infected. <laughs> we got a huge infection in the black community. Nobody wants to get the antibiotics. <laughs> hey, this video, pick this video out. It's a white girl and a black girl. And you'll see why there's a weight gap in this country. <laughs> weight gap? Did you say a weight gap? Let me go back. Do you see a wage gap? Yeah, it's a white girl and a black girl. And you'll see why there's a white gap in this country. Man, I'm, I'm scared to see this, man. And this is not a video to bash melanated people because obviously I'm melanated. I love melanated people, right? In and out. But you cannot forget to address issues when they occur. Okay? If someone is doing something wrong and degrading, it doesn't matter if they're white or black. All right, I'll like something should be said. You know what I mean? But I feel like when it's melanated people trying to keep other melanated pe other melanated people accountable, you label the hater, a racist, all these things when it shouldn't be the case. I don't know what's happening with me today, but speaking is just. 
It's four. It's, it's, it's difficult. difficult. I don't know what it is. Jeez. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, one thing about me is everybody knows that we're good, so I always have a lot of money. That's amazing. I don't... I don't know about you. What would you do now? That you're a musician. So that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm-hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is it? Ladies, ladies, ladies. Anyway, I'm not gonna say what I have to say. Let's just keep watching. Can you really say what those guys, what the hush coins were saying before, is factual? Do you think they're making things up based on this? We need to stick up for each other. We need to hold each other accountable. We need to make each other look better. Because when one person does something to the masses mindset, it affects all of us. It does. There's only a very few people outside the melanated race that think outside the box. But unfortunately, that's not most of them. So when one person does something, it affects all of us. Know what I mean? Only if the people outside of the melanated race are children of God, they'll think differently. But if it's not, then a certain mentality is going to be instilled. And when you see this, see melanated people doing this, you're going to think they're not intelligent, they're out of the streets, they know nothing but music and sports. That's what you're going to think based on what the media shows you. So it's important to really, right? Anyway, let's keep going. Don't be defensive. It's, it's, I don't know. It, it requires so much patience to deal with that. It really does. I feel so bad. I feel truly bad, man. Like, this is not even a thing of trying to mock people or anything like that. I, I deep down feel bad. I deep down feel bad. Yeah, and it's not even stupidity as in they're stupid, it's the choice of stupidity. You choose to be ignorant, you choose not to be smart, you choose not to expose yourself to information, you choose not to put into work to find things out, you choose that. It has nothing to do with racism. I agree with them. It has nothing to do with not having school or all that. You can, you can, there's so much resources. It's the choice to be ignorant. It's the choice. It's, it's sad. You, you, you deep down feel bad, but what does feeling bad really do? What does feeling bad for someone really do? Unless that person does proactive things to get out of that situation. Nothing. I just might take. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's stupidity. Stupidity. Well, that's stupidity. I don't think it's ignorance. <laughs> well, ignorance. You can fix ignorance with information. Yeah, but you can't fix it. <laughs> exactly. It's saying something really good here. You, you can fix ignorance with being exposed to the thing, right? But stupidity... The, I'll add to that, you, you, you choose to be stupid. That's a choice. It's a choice. You can, you can turn away from it if, if you choose to do proactive things to get out of that, but it's, it's up to you. 
Maybe you can do it. And you know what? She's not stupid. She's just really good. You can fix her. If she's, um, but she's got so little, um, the willingness. No, exactly. A choice. A choice. I don't, even if she, she, she's capable of changing, is she willing to do it? She's not even willing to sit down and, and let the interviewer interview her. You know what I mean? She comes on someone else's show and the person can't even interview her. Make it make sense. A lot of work. She's probably nervous. You know, she is talking to a white girl. Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys are so funny. You know how black people feel about white people? Not all of us. Still the third year. Maybe she was, uh, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys are so funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop it there, but that last part right there is critical. Just be willing to be a student, just be willing to learn. All right. Don't walk into any situation thinking that, oh, I'm all that, this and that. And that's sort of the vibe I got from that lady previously. She was just there to sort of promote herself. You know what I mean? In turn, made herself look really, really dumb. And another thing to spoke about here is the wage gaps. It has nothing to do with racism. It has nothing to do with having less opportunity. It in many ways, it has to do with choice of being ignorant, choice of no effort, choice of not doing the most to get to uh, an acceptable stage. You know what I mean? There's a reason a lot of melanated people are not respected. Not only what the media pushes, but what some of us choose to be. We choose to look up to rap music, look up to athletes that don't know us. Look up to ignorance. You can get out of that. But anyway, I digress.